a ghost, maybe? Okay. Hey clowns, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today we are back reacting to the macabre experiment, which is actually how you pronounce it. Thank you comments from the last video. You guys basically filled me in saying that all of these videos in the macabre experiment are based off of old creepypastas. Looks like I'm gonna have to start doing some research on some of these. In this macabre experiment, it's called Suicide Mouse, which I'm guessing has to do with Mickey Mouse because that is the thumbnail. I'm also not sure yet if these are connected at all or what's going on really. I believe this second one will know if there's some kind of connection, hopefully. But let's just jump right in. This one's a little less than seven minutes long. Failed experiment number 16, the mouse. FE Protective Agency. Greetings once again. This case includes mention of death and suicide. Okay, so viewer discretion. It's not for the faint of heart. If you happen to stumble across this private file, delete it immediately. Otherwise, let's get to the investigation. Alright. Our first person of interest is Diana Cooper. Okay. Diana wants to get home, wants to get her work done, but can't. Oh, wow. This is a dark version of a Mickey Mouse show. Jeez. Okay. Mickey got out of the storm. That's good. He just get locked in by a ghost? Looks like he's in some kind of haunted house or something. Oh! Did you see the face? That face was from the last video. There it is again. Right, so it looks like Mickey's in like a haunted house type of situation here. A ghost, maybe? Okay, so they are definitely connected. Poor Mickey got cornered there. I know you're excited for this show. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We're moving too fast. I know you're excited for the show to premiere, sweetie. I'll be home right after and you can tell me how it was. I love you. So I'm guessing it's Curtis or Diana that wrote this. So it showed that there was a guy Curtis talking just now. I'm guessing that Curtis is the guy that Diana was talking about on the phone that wasn't getting his work done and stuff. But then Curtis also told Diana, like, don't worry about it. It's fine. Just get out of here. I got it. So it looks like he said that he's going to take care of the work.
All right. Where are you going, Mickey? Is that supposed to be like Magic Kingdom in the back? That giant castle? Just walking endlessly. Mickey, no. No, 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 no. The following is a call from Rowan Withers that was recorded for our investigation. Okay, so third character, Rowan. Okay, so that was Curtis's son, and apparently Curtis shot himself. Okay. What is that? Yeah, why are they only showing his eyes? Are those the eyes from that other thing? That other smiling thing? Who is that? Nah. What the hell is this? Are these actual outfits that they like used to wear at Disney or something like way back? That is nightmare fuel to the max. That is terrifying. Who thought these were okay outfits? That might be even worse! This looks like something a robber would wear. That's... no, that's terrifying. Guess what, Diana? I got the film we needed. Took some work. It's rare, you know. Bought it off some shady company. They recreated the cartoon on their own, they said. Pretty impressive, honestly. It looks pretty legit to me. I'm sure the boss won't notice. Just don't let him know about where I got it, alright? He's gonna be so glad we managed to find this. Silas? Okay, so I read a, I read a few of the comments to see if I could help just justify my theory that I was developing in my head, and it seems that people have the similar thought that I do. Basically, Diana, Curtis, and whoever that last person was that wrote that letter at the end, were all working on a show on a Mickey Mouse episode, I guess. And it seems that they weren't gonna be able to get it done in time, so Silas, or whoever wrote that last letter, decided to just order an episode made from a shady company, and it seems that when they premiered it, anybody that watched it ended up committing suicide and that would explain why it says your child is dead because it might be diana talking to her child remember that note where it says like oh i'll be home soon let me know what you thought of the episode that could be diana's child that diana was writing to and that woman that was on the floor that looks like she killed herself that could bite be diana as well now my thought is wasn't the smiling dog when people looked at the image they also committed suicide or was that different because then is this creepy smiling face like invading creepypasta stories and then causing people to kill themselves maybe that's a stretch maybe i'm not fully understanding 
the smiling face and what it does yet it almost took control of like mickey there like it was trying to get mickey in the video so that was i don't know it just seems a little bit weird to me but let me know any theories that you guys have in the comments down below because usually you guys get this stuff a lot better than i can and plus you guys definitely helped a lot in the last video in the comments also guys if you enjoyed my reaction you want to see the macabre experiment 3 make sure to get this video to 100 likes again i definitely think you guys can do it the next one has to do with the legend of zelda i believe also if you're new here and you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe you can always change your mind later and big shout out to my youtube members thank you guys so much for your support you guys are incredible and all right guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one Peace.